Hi, today I want to show you a quick tip in Caden Live. I'm using the version 22.04.2. Recently I have been doing a lot of screencast and in screencast I use the effects uh, transform to zoom in and zoom out a lot. Now I want to show you something here. Let's say I've got a clip A and showing something here. Then it's pop up with the notepad. At this point, I want to zoom in to show the text here. So then I get the transform, put the keyframe here, and move it back a little bit. Get the second keyframe, and here I will, let's do a bit zoom. So then I move it to the center. Let's say here. Now you can see at this point start zooming in and so continue here. The next clip here is basically continue the same scene. So if I put it here, you can see there's a jump because there's no transform in the second clip. What I can do is go to here, put the transform, then go to the first clip, go to the last keyframe, and select here, option, copy value at the cursor to the clipboard, and go to the next one here, import keyframes from clipboard, say OK, now try again, so you can see here, this is a smooth transition between two clips. There's no jump anymore. This is a bit complicated because I use this a lot. I, I normally use another way to do that. I'm going to show you now. So let's delete the effect in the second clip. So here you can see the keyframe is somewhere here. Normally, I will go to the end, very close to the end. There is basically no new keyframe coming. Then press X for cut and cut the clip. And press Ctrl C to copy. And press Ctrl Z, undo it. Now press S. Select the second clip. Now I'm going to select paste effect here. OK. So when I go through here, now if, if I come back to the first clip, I let's play here. So there's the second clip is already zoom in. So it looks a little bit complicated with the shortcut keys, but if you uh, have done few times, then it's faster than going to copy the frame to the clipboard and then import it back from the clipboard. I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.